Hey, what's going on? It's Bill Burr, and it's time for the uh, Thursday afternoon just before Friday fucking Monday morning podcast that I'm just checking in on you. How's that? Is that the worst? Is that the worst you've ever heard? Um, Dave Keckner reference. Uh, sorry, my voice is a little fucking blown out. Uh, I did a record for episode six of the 10 that we're doing for uh, season two. And I don't know what the fuck I did to it. Um, who's getting who? When, you know, when you lack talent, what you try to do is you try to be loud so you can shout down all the silence. That's what you do. You throw in a couple of F words, a couple of fucking shit jokes. And next thing you know, you kind of have an act, you know, and you scrape the bottom of the fucking barrel. That's what you do. And when you scrape the bottom of the barrel, next thing you know, you have your party's nomination for presidency of the United States. <laughs> you know what's great about this job is I get to meet a bunch of different people, and overwhelmingly, people on both sides are just going, "I don't know who the fuck I'm going to vote for." These are my these are the these are the two we're just supposed to decide out of the fucking blue. Between these two fucking lunatics, I don't get it. Well, I get it. What are you going to do? So you either vote more the same or you step off into the abyss. <laughs> oh, I swear to God. If Trump didn't hate non-whites as much as he seems to, uh, or at least was, wasn't so fucking out of touch, I'd almost be excited just to see what, the, what just... just being a lazy comedian, just how this guy would just be fucking feeding it to you. You know what I mean? I found Obama was kind of boring. You know, Bush was fun. Clinton was, Jesus Christ, Clinton was fucking great. You know? Watch come over here and suck my dick. I mean, it was so easy to get laughs on that guy. And then Bush, yeah, he just got old after a while. We get it. He's fucking stupid. But like Clinton, every fucking week, he was sticking cigars in people's fucking twats. You know, he's bombing people, he's putting on weight, he goes to McDonald's and he's got his fucking thighs out. I mean, that guy, he was, he was, a, he was a comedy juggernaut because he, he kept changing. Every time you thought, you know, all right, it's this, this, and this, and you got this guy down, he would add another layer. Bush was just kind of, <laughs> and then another fucking seven years. <laughs> it's like, we get it, we get it. He's fucking stupid, and uh, he's not stupid, but he's, uh, I don't know. I'll quote one of my relatives. He's not the best speaker. Um, I don't. Even, I mean, barely even watched Obama. Obama was always like, "Oh, her, her, her." I always just felt like he was giving me a fucking lecture. It's like, all right. <laughs> I never really found any humor. I found his wife hilarious, fucking going on Ellen and shit and tweeting. You know what I mean? Acting like some seventh grader on Instagram. She was funny, but uh, I don't know about him. Um, anyway, so hopefully, whatever. One of the other, I can tell you right now, both of the, either one of them, Hillary or Trump, is going to be plenty of fucking material, but then it'll instantly be hacky. So maybe that's what it is. I don't know. 